Up next, is your inverter battery ready? Hi, I'm Jonathan Green from Tejo, the place where Australians save time and money as they make the switch to renewable energy. Check out our website for more information and subscribe below for more great renewable energy content. Batteries, batteries, batteries. The most exciting technology on the market. Why? Because they're cool. That's why. Capturing and storing your excess solar, increasing your autonomy, and securing your home against blackouts? Throw in a few ongoing and upcoming state-based rebates and solar batteries are what everyone is talking about. At Tejo, we get asked every day, is my solar inverter compatible with batteries? The answer depends on what battery you are interested in installing. We like to keep things simple at Tejo, so we'll keep it light. There are three types of grid-connected solar batteries in Australia. DC coupled, AC coupled, and hybrid batteries. DC coupled batteries require a hybrid inverter, so in this case, you will need to pick a battery that is compatible with a hybrid solar inverter. The reason for this is the battery requires DC power to charge directly from the hybrid inverter. There are a few disadvantages of a DC coupled battery. The biggest one is there is a common issue with communication between the inverter and the battery. The majority of the time, the inverter is made by one company and the battery is made by another company. While they are compatible with each other, you can appreciate two different pieces of equipment from two different manufacturers may have trouble talking to each other. AC coupled batteries can be fitted to any existing system. That's right, any existing system. This is because the battery plugs into the AC wires on your home and doesn't need to be directly connected to the solar inverter. They still store DC energy, but the battery has an inbuilt rectifier slash an inverter, which is changing the power from AC to DC to store the energy and then back to AC when it goes into your home. Now, hybrid batteries take batteries to a whole new level. A hybrid battery has an inbuilt solar inverter, which means it will do the DC to AC within the battery and also charge the battery at the same time. This means you only need to install solar panels and a battery with no separate inverter. Super cool. The disadvantage of a hybrid solar battery is the inverter within the battery is usually of a small capacity, five kilowatts or so. This means you aren't able to install a large solar system working to its full potential. You still need a separate inverter or two hybrid batteries if you're intending installing a large system. If you see solar companies market their packages as battery ready, we suggest you run far away from these companies. It's a broad sweeping statement without much substance. Bit of marketing, if you will. The moral is there are few options and not everything is the same. So if you're unsure, reach out and speak to a specialist at Tejo today. Give us a call on 1300 22 92 92 or check out our website at www.tejo.com.au. I'm Jonathan Green. Thanks for watching.